Thanks, uh, Fatu. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, no, congratulations to the team. A good performance. I thought um, we started a bit um, shaky, but it was difficult because you're playing against uh, a team with nothing to lose and with a lot of confidence uh, away from home. And, and also the last couple of results don't help that much for for confidence that is but uh, we settled and we once we got onto the ball and we adapted to the pitch we, we, were, we were much better uh, i like the personality of the team today um good intensity good aggression good uh, bravery you know so congratulations to the team and uh, and i must also put uh, a side note uh, big compliments to dane clayton his technical team because i I think uh, they've got an incredible team um, and it's it's a little bit emotional for me to see this team because I've seen it from from low, 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 low to, to where it is now and so, um, yeah, uh, to the management of the club, to, to Dane and his technical team. Uh, I wish them all the best for the remainder of the season. A good team, uh, and they advocate for for football to be played the right way. So, so yeah. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, were you a bit surprised by the approach that the team came and presented before you like, the game was playing? Were you like surprised? Because La Masia. Like, yes. That they came for you like pound for pound and trying to match you at your own game. Were you surprised or did you expect that to happen first? I, I haven't seen them play any other way. Um, I watched four games and they play exactly the same way. Against Venda, they played away from home, played uh, open, possession, build ups. Um, um, Against JDR, same. Against uh, Tux, same. Against uh, Sikukun in a friendly at uh, Johannesburg Stadium, same. So um, when I watched, um, same and almost the same players. Mm, Gobeza on the right, uh, good player. Caden on the left, inverting, good player. Johnson, the winger, excellent player. Uh, Baji is the central midfielder, very aggressive in the duels. Uh, the captain, very, very good player. So, and even Manzini, who I thought would start, uh, they brought him on in the second half. Uh, great potential there. So, no, to be honest with you, no. Um, coach, we, for the first time, we saw the South American test before. Yeah. Um, start uh, together today. <laughs> Um, what did you make of their individual performances and are um, you likely to see um, that happening uh, going forward? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. I call it the Spanish guitar. I yeah. <laughs> I call it the Spanish guitar, but uh, you know, the guitar is still has to play to the tune of the team. And uh, there's no individuals or groups within the team. Uh, they are part of the Sundowns group and uh, um, they were good. They were they were all good today. Good good attitude. Good good mentality. It's just a pity we had to take Mendieta off at half time because you could see they were also even trying to to provoke him a little bit. But it is what it is. And um, yeah, let's see. Yes, uh, coach. Uh, just your assessment on, on Zuko as well. Uh, you, you did mention that you don't see Tapelo as the right back, mm. so this is sort of direct competition. Mm. You know, can he, I mean, Sailor had a phenomenal half call, can mm. Zuko push him a little bit? Is that what you expect? No, I do, but you've got to be patient because it's, it was the same with Sailor. When Sailor arrived, um, there were also a lot of questions. Will he play for Sundowns? Will he be at the level? And, and it was a bit shaky at the beginning, but look at where he is today. So. Uh, Zuko's got a lot of uh, potential, and that's what we brought him here for, his potential. Uh, and we've got to be patient, but he did well today, you know. Um, the the right-back role at Sundowns is a little bit different at the moment. So he has to he has to play a little bit different to how he played at Chippa. 
but we've uh, we've got a lot of time for him, and we've got we will be very patient, young, younger than Sailor by maybe even four years, if if not three, and uh, so we've just got to be a bit, bit patient with him. Robert. Congratulations on the way. Thank you, sir. I just want to ask which, um, the versatility of, of Bohani is um, to, to play uh, in, that, in that back three. What are some of the qualities that, that made you confident that he could, he could play that? Because sometimes it's underrated, even by us. No, but uh, Bongs has got uh, seniority, he's got experience, he's, he's matured, um, he's. he's, he's um, his time in Europe has really, really, really helped him to become a, a top football player and tactically at a very, very good level. He organizes the team and uh, a lot of coaching on the pitch and these are some of the things you don't really, really see. But, um, and he's uh, selfless, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a good human being, you know. Bongs is, he looks after the younger ones, he looks after the team, he, he, he gives leadership and, and, and coaches the, the, the players on the side sometimes, even after training. And uh, I saw even his, his, his leadership during some of the set pieces where he was organizing the team. So very proud of him, and, uh, but proud of the entire team, proud of all the subs, they did well also, the mentality was good. Um, and. Um, and um, yeah, Bongs was one of the standout performers in the second half for sure. Uh, coach, there obviously still remains a huge interest in the crew that was with the Bafana team. You know, um, you've gone about business without choosing so much of them so far in these two games. We've got a long trip now to Mauritania, and maybe how are you playing around with the dynamics of uh, bringing them in, considering how much football they had to play as well, the high intensity. Through the last month, yeah, but some of it is not even um, by choice, you know. I, I mean, um, Toby is out and will probably be out for six to eight weeks. Uh, Sailor is out and he'll be out for about six to eight weeks also with a high end grade three. and. And you know that uh, you, you, we also, when he got injured and he still played, which disappoints me a little bit. Um, Ronza is struggling with a shoulder uh, injury, so today we, tr we try to rest him and, 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 uh, and give him some time. She, she's also got a bit of a niggle. Um, so, so some of the players that came from Bafana, it's not even about whether we want to give them a break or not, we just can't. We can't use them at all because they they've returned back with 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 some some with very serious injuries. And um, but okay, it is it is what it is, and we have to try to use the rest of the squad. And 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 you saw today, you saw against Pirates, um, you know that they've got the quality to compete and, and, and help the team. So that is the, the responsibility that they all have. Okay, we'll close it. All good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, members of the media. Thank you.